Hello and welcome to One Thing Queer. My name is Jenny Baton and my pronouns are they, them. And I'm Kelsey Wren and my pronouns are she, her. Hi, friend. Hello. How are you? <laughs> good. How are you? Good. I'm excited for today. I know. We have a guest today. Woo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yay! We have a guest. She's our friend, mine and Bernie's friend and co-worker. Everybody, this is Maya. Woo! <laughs> Hi, Maya. Welcome. Hi, Maya. <laughs> For having me. You like a little sound effects? I do. I do. Those are really cute. Maya's a little nervous. A little yeah. Bit. It's okay. It's okay. So how are you, Maya? I'm good. Good? I'm good. Yeah. A little tired, but good. Yeah, yeah. We work a lot. Yeah. It's okay. really hot there too. So how do you know Maya? Uh I know Maya because Maya has worked with Bernie for a what like twenty sixteen? Since 2016, yeah. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say 26 years. Yeah, it was like 26 years. <laughs> she's like, that old, she's yes. like, it feels like 26 years. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> um, and then when I started working there, so we became co-workers too. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then we had passing, I think passing mutually knew each other were by, right? Something like that. I think Bernie told. Yeah, Bernie told me about you. Yeah, and Bernie told me about you. Yeah, <laughs> And so I think we were working together, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And I was like, dude, we've never talked about this before. Like, I saw I was like, I was like, when did you come out? Like, like <laughs> tell me all the stuff. <laughs> and Maya was very shy about it. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's kind of how we started. So I don't know. Yeah. Then I was like, hey, would you uh, want to kind of got a podcast? Uh, <laughs> I kind of, kind of, kind of, sort of. A little bit here and there. Like, Bernie brings it up constantly. So he's oh. like, you want to hear it? You want to hear it? And like, every time there's a new episode, he's like, there's a new episode. Yeah. Got to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being our promo. I know. Bernie. <laughs> he really is. He's a he's an astrology promo and uh, an OTQ promo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He talks about astrology all the time, too. He's our walking billboard. He really is. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, but... It's, like, never-ending with him. Yeah. I don't know. So, it's kind of like... <laughs> my so nervous. <laughs> I, I we were playing with cables. <laughs> it's all good. It's we're all just, good. We just have mics in front of us. Yeah, like. we're just chilling. Just how we were talking. So, we were talking... Um, trying to imagine the gaming setup. <laughs> it's fine. Um, what were we talking about? We were talking about downstairs, and we were kind of <laughs> just talking about, like... Well, I don't know. We kind of started in... Uh, <laughs> we had a one situation where you were showing me band photos, Bad photos, and we were talking about how, like, um, in high school, it was a little bit hard to, like, I don't know, not hard, but, like, we, we both, I didn't have the balls to always wear vests, but Maya totally did. I did. It was, it was almost problematic, the amount of times I was wearing vests, was, like, my whole wardrobe. But it's funny to look back at those photos and be like, oh, uh, that, that looks gay, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that is my biggest thing everyone always says when they see old pictures of me, they're like, you, you sure you just came out? Are you sure about that? Because these say it all. Yeah. It's. When did you come out? Was it a few years ago? or? Uh, I want to say it was 2019. No, I want to say it was 2020. 2020. I think it was a little bit after I was already living up north. Okay. Again. Okay. So. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I came out in 2020 as well. Wow. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. It was a. You that, were a late bloomer. Yeah, that, you came out last year. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Just kidding. It took me a little bit longer. It's be, okay. I needed more time in quarantine, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, um, so he had talked about that. And actually, like, when I, I think when I came out, he was like, oh, yeah, Maya, like, was telling me also that Maya is. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, what? Uh, kind of. Kind of. I technically didn't tell Bernie. Oh, really? Really, yeah. Uh, Who told him? My ex. Was, okay. Yeah. Was. Yeah. Good to say, yeah. My yeah. ex told him, basically, which is not cool but also <laughs> yeah it was a thing so that was like the first person i told was my ex uh because i was just like you know i think i am like it's always kind of been there but i've always been like because of family and stuff like that mm-hmm. I've been very big i'm like no i'm straight i'm straight and then like finally 2020 quarantine covid all that stuff and the more i was thinking about it i was like you know what? I, I think i am for sure so i told him his first thing was like i have to call bernie <laughs> <laughs> 
Bernie, Bernie was like one of my best friends around the time, and also my ex was like super, super close with him too. Mm-hmm. So oh, he like loves every him. literal thing. He was like, I have to call him. I have to call him. So yeah. Mm-hmm. As soon as I said that, he was like, it took him a minute to kind of be like, what really? He, he wasn't the happiest. Yeah. And like finally, after a little bit, he's like, okay, I have to call Bernie. And then he's just like, did you know this? And I was like, no, nobody knows. You're the only person I've told. <laughs> the only one. Just, yeah. So Bernie was just like, oh. Okay. <laughs> what is it that you feel like pushed you to kind of take that step? Mm, I don't know. I feel like, like I said, it's always kind of been there, but uh, I actually have a family friend who is just gay, mm-hmm. and she made a comment one time where she was just like, you know, it's always kind of been there, but part of it was always like, I kind of want to be that person. It was never like, I like that person. It was I want to be that person. And yeah. it's always kind of been in the back of my head when she said it. I was like, you know, that's right. Because I had a lot of that where I'd see women and stuff. I was like, damn, I'm envious. I want to be like that. Mm-hmm. And then I got older and I was like, no, I don't think that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. And yeah. So kind of like click. You, you put two and two together. Yeah. 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 I feel like a lot of us. Patrick moments or like, you're like, oh, Connected yeah. the cables. Like, oh, <laughs> it all makes sense now. <laughs> Connected all the dots. That's yeah, actually yeah. something Ladora talked about, too, because uh, we were talking about Broad City. I don't know if you've ever seen yes, that. I where, that show. Yeah, where Alana's like, I don't know if I want to be you or be in you. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, it's like a universal thing that we all kind of think, which is funny. Like, yeah. am I envious or am I something else? <laughs> <laughs> it's something else. It's something else, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. And then, I don't know, because your sister worked there, too, at some point, right? Nana? Yeah. 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 Did she know, too, or? Yeah. So, Nana's <laughs> actually the reason my my mom's side knows. Okay. She, she did the same thing. She kind of, like, outed me. Oh. So, I had briefly mentioned it at one point, and it was, like, messing around, just kind of made a comment about it, went over everyone's head, and I was like, all right, whatever, we'll try again later, and then uh, we were all out at breakfast one time, and, like, we had our separate tables. The adults wanted to sit together, so they're like, you go sit with the kids, and I was like, I'm technically an adult, but that's fine, I'll go sit with my siblings and the other children, and so I was, like, talking to my sister and my little brother there, and I made a comment about it again, and she was like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, we, I kind of mentioned this before. She's like, no way, really? So you are bi? And I was like, yeah, pretty sure. She's like, I have to tell mom and boo, because she's super close with my mom and my stepdad and stuff she always has been so she was like i have to tell him and like two seconds later she's typing it in the family chat and sends it and then she looks up she's like oh wait did you not want me to tell him and i was like well i mean you already did but I, it's fine like i would have told him eventually it's just we'll see what happens now and my family all kind of had the same reaction on their side was like oh so you finally caught on yeah <laughs> now you know yeah like you think we didn't know this for years like oh cool thanks guys <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for not telling me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same reaction I had too. Is everybody was like, "Oh yeah, duh." I'm like, "Okay, thanks." Even even my brother in the other room was like, "Yeah, duh." I'm like, "Oh, that was a, same." Uh, do we all not? Do we all just not fucking know? <laughs> like, what the? Right? Well, we know, but we're too scared when like to say anything about it. And even though all of them are going to be like, "Yeah, duh," like, but okay, why was I? Why was I scared then? Right. My other little sister is actually. Um, She's by as well. And mm-hmm. she, like, she made a big deal about it. She went out. She told my parents and stuff. And, like, to this day, I still have not actually sat down with my stepmom and my dad. And mm-hmm. been like, hey, I'm by. Like, I'll make comments. I'll joke about it. I'll, like, oh, it's the month of my people. Stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. all the time. So I'm pretty sure they know. But I've never actually, like, sat down and had that talk with them. But she did. Yeah. And so, like, it gave me more confidence in it, but at the same time, I still kind of have that fear in, my, in the back of my head. Yeah. Almost a little irrational, but I think it's just because of my rocky past with my dad mm-hmm. always kind of has yeah. been there. Yeah. yeah. It's scary. It's definitely scary. Yeah. Like, that's, I think we kind of mentioned that, too. Like, even if you're in the best of situations and have the best of outcome afterwards, it's still freaking scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We kind of talked about that in a parental yeah. a- episode, I think. Allyship. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just like, I mean kids i mean parents uh their kids are divulging that kind of information for you like give them some credit because it's freaking scary it's it's very scary even now too i haven't told like had the conversation with most of my siblings just the ones that i like semi get along with the rest i'm sure have seen (laughs) have heard it from somewhere like my mom (laughs) mom um (laughs) (laughs) well like that's another thing with my dad like i'm pretty sure they i'm like 
99% sure they're fully aware of it because, mm-hmm. like, my aunt knows and stuff because my cousins are all like, oh, you are? Mm-hmm. And then we'll just, like, randomly bring it up sometimes. And I'm just like, yeah, that's me. Hi. Mm-hmm. But I just, I can't. I don't yeah. know why. Every time I'm like, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to tell them. I'm like, well, it's been this long. And I don't know. Now it just feels awkward. <laughs> and so I just never do it. Like, yeah. Every time I'm out there, I'm just like, hmm. Let's talk about something else. Yeah. <laughs> like, change the subject. It's hard, for sure. It's hard, too. And it's hard, too, because I'm sure maybe you have the feeling, too, kind of like I do, that, like, you don't want them to be like, really? You inval-? Like, it's invalidating for them, too, especially because also you're dating a man. Yeah. Same as me. And it's invalidating when somebody's like, but you're dating a man. So that's, like, that's a big thing with my mom's side, actually. Mm-hmm. So I have my mom's side. We don't have the best relationship. But, you know, we're, we're still, we're family and stuff. I feel like mine and my dad's relationship and my stepmom and stuff uh it was really rocky in the past and now it's like the best it's ever been really really good really close like i love being around them and stuff it's amazing and for some reason i still have that like i almost don't want to say it. it's just like so weird every time i try and bring it up and, and like i know knowing how they react with my sister and like we have other family friends and stuff like that and like it's not gonna be a problem mm-hmm. like they've bought me little rainbow things before and they're like oh you know that you'd like it and stuff so i know they're hinting at they know but I just I can't, like, bring myself to sit down and actually say it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like part of that is also because of how my mom's side reacted. Mm-hmm. So, like, they were super, obviously, like, oh, you're late to catch on and stuff. But they're also very much, like, it's kind of become my personality around them. Like, that's it. Like, oh. like I have, like, I'm a very weird person. I go, like, through phases of, like, I'm obsessed with this, I'm obsessed with this, like... Everything I like really into changes. Aries so moon. <laughs> Aries moon in me every so often. I'm like new thing. Yeah, same. let's dive in. Like recently, I started on Sons of Anarchy and stuff. Oh yeah. Every we talk about every that. few months is like something new, but with them, it's like ever since I've told them, it's just pride. That's it. That's like literally it. Like mm-hmm. we do gifts and stuff in my family for a lot of holidays and things. Like Valentine's Day, my mom always makes everyone baskets. And this past Valentine's Day, past two Valentine's days. Pride, pride baskets for me. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh, look, I got you a pride lotion and it has glitter and stuff. And I'm like, woman, you know me. I never in my life have ever worn glittery lotion or like anything like that. But because it was pride, she was like, you have to have it. Yeah. And That's I'm sweet. like, this past year, big old tote bag with like bright rainbow heart, everything. Mm-hmm. She's like, it's pride. You have to have it. I was like, ma'am, again, I don't like stuff like this. But that's like, that's all she gets me now. How, how does it make you feel when when they do that? When they show you that type of support, I guess? Because there's like different it's, types. It's kind of like, I don't want to say it's not supportive. But sometimes I get a little frustrated because I'm like, you guys were never, ever, like, so big on getting me specific things like that in the past. It's always been, you know, what are you into? What do you what do you like now? Kind of keeping up with me and stuff. But we don't have the closer relationship now, so they don't really bother to ask, like, oh, what are you into right now? Or what do you like right now and stuff? It's more so just, like, all the easy answer is she's gay. So here you go. Mm-hmm. And that's, like, all it ever is now. Okay. Does like, it feel... I'll get random messages or my sister makes jokes. She's like, get it? Because you're gay. And I'm like, yeah, I got it. I got it like 80 times ago. (laughs) Does it feel a little like condescending kind of? Or like it's a little like it's a joke, right? Almost. 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 Yeah, that's frustrating. And then like back to the whole, well, you're with a man thing Mm -hmm. too. So I do feel like that sometimes. Like my family's not the biggest fan of my partner right now. So Mm -hmm. I feel like sometimes they will like especially make those little comments about Mm -hmm. it. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, you're with a guy though. And I'm like yeah I'm, I'm aware of that yeah Thanks. that's the whole point of uh liking multiple yes. <laughs> genders yeah multiple sure. genders for sure i don't remember picking just one but you know that's fine it's, uh, <laughs> do you have a time in like like looking back in high school where you're like certain things like like i've talked about like like so i don't have like a lot of like friends who were girls in high school because i was like terrified of like being outed because i would be too close and like I don't know. Do you have anything like that in high school where you're like, oh, why do I act like this? Yes. And I don't no. know why. <laughs> uh, I've always been, well, the Aries in me has always been very hot-headed. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. And, and that I feel like that's part of why, but um, I've never had a lot of friends who were girls. Mm-hmm. And the few that I did, they were like my closest friends and that was it. Mm-hmm. Like I've had like maybe three or four and they were just really, really close friends, like inseparable kind of best friends. 
and every other girl it was just like I couldn't I could not hold a friendship with them yeah they were just like you have problems get away <laughs> and I was like yeah <laughs> thanks <laughs> What do you think it was that made I, it? So? I feel like part of what made them not like me so much is, um, I'm sure Bernie will like come up with some astrology answer to this, but uh, <laughs> I'm, I, Got him. I'm pretty blunt about, not always, mm-hmm. I can be really, I don't know what the word is, like passive or something sometimes, mm-hmm. but other times I'll just like, I don't care, mm-hmm. and I'll say things a lot, and uh, it's not always the nicest, and then people are just like, wow, you're, you're a dick, get away from me, and I'm like... <laughs> sorry (laughs) i'm gonna be honest do you ever feel like like i know that for me it was also hard for me to have friends when i was younger but it was more because of my internalized homophobia that i had within myself um do you feel like you didn't allow yourself to get close to women because uh you knew that part of yourself at all maybe a little bit um I don't know. I just, I always got along with the guys, and then, like, I was very much the kind of person who, once I had close friends, oh, that was it. Like, that was I it. didn't really care about mm-hmm. making a bunch of friends. I've never really had a bunch of friends. Always been kind of, like, I've had a lot of acquaintances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But never people I would be like, yeah, I want to hang out with them and stuff. Like, we're friends. Yeah. It, it was never really like that for me. I just kind of had my, my little groups, and yeah. that was it. Yeah. Like, I was chilling with that. So Same kind of stuck yeah Yeah. maybe even to this day i'm like that i'm like i have my crew right here these are my homies Mm -hmm. my friends and then outside of that i'm like yeah i know that person they're okay (laughs) (laughs) yeah it's not that they're bad not like i don't like them it's just like yeah i'm comfortable here i'm good (laughs) (laughs) i was uh love dying a little bit the aries is the aries bluntness is very much uh that's a (laughs) very much a thing (laughs) no I mean, it just happens sometimes. I mean, like, I've talked about that, too, the bluntness. Like, I tell Bernella the time, too. I even tell you all the time, like, why can't I just say what I'm going to say? Why do I have to make it sound nice? That no, sounds so like awful. There's a voice in my head that sometimes, like, you need to be nice. Don't be a total asshole right now. And then the other part of me is like, just say it. I don't like you. Get out of my face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> and then afterwards, I'm like, oh, that was a little harsh. <laughs> your, cap, your cap sun and your Aries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be reasonable. Clashing. Use rage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, Bernie's obsessed with astrology, right? <laughs> um, no you, way. Yeah, and I know, right? <laughs> uh, so, he does this thing at work all the time where he, like, well, just remembers people's stuff and tells it. So, like, that's his thing. Like, what's your thing like that? Because I know you do a lot of different things. Oh, I don't know. I don't pay attention. To, like, you're the one who called out my little, like, quirk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like trying to so. work on everyone for, like the little things that they do every single day like our friend Eliza will stand there with like her hips on her hand yeah. and, like do this smile thing he like does people's like moves like everyone has their own like little everyone. moves yeah and like so, gestures yeah his ge- like gestures and stuff so like I'm the one that actually found Maya's and it was so funny like he just does everybody's moves but while he'll like put astrology into it also but I was meaning like what do you like to do like gaming like I know you game. I do game, but I think that's more of a, a Michael thing. Oh, okay. So that that's his thing. He's very big on gaming, mm-hmm. and I'm just kind of like, I want to be included, so I join <laughs> in. And I'm like, we we play with our same friends like every single day. We'll switch games sometimes, but like it's always the same people. We just have our same group same of friends. Group. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes again. So I'm like, oh, I, I just kind of do that for them, and it's. I mean, I enjoy it. It's fun. There's times where I'm like, all right, this game I'm tired of. I'm gonna do something else. But they're pretty good about including me in that but mm-hmm. i wouldn't necessarily say that's that's my thing that's your thing no no, no. anime when though I'm by my, uh, i do like you, anime a lot you do <laughs> love anime what's your favorite one uh my favorite one which a lot of people are gonna judge me for is inyasha oh and know. that's what my bag is oh okay my backpack and stuff gotcha yeah. why do you say that uh probably because it's my first one i watched and it's just kind of stuck with me and i know one of my really good friends was like very big on it too so she would show me constantly and then it just like why do you think people um judge you for that oh because i've had so many friends where i say that and they're like that's trash i hate that one it's so outdated it's not even good the story horrible. and i'm like are you done <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> i'm like part of me is like who cares i like it the other part of me is like stop bullying me i like what i like <laughs> throwing a tantrum like don't bully my show it's very moon of you yes i know Um, Uh, yeah that's me yeah we actually have like a lot of people who listen to anime too like i think ladora does and your brother does watch or that's what i meant (laughs) you know what i meant (laughs) 
<laughs> listen, they listen to podcasts. <laughs> the uh, anime just put it on in the background I'm we don't all. know what's happening in a whole nother language but we just we just listen I only know <laughs> one <laughs> yeah I only know one it's uh well the only one I ever finished was Tokyo Ghoul and that was like my favorite one and like I don't know it was really good I, I, I like the monster I just recently finished that one. Oh, it's so good did you watch uh the regular one and I think it's called Re no I don't think so so I think I think I want to say it's season three is like a whole new thing, kind of. It starts off as something completely different, so a lot of people are like, "No." Hmm. But, uh, if you watch all the way through, it's actually really, really good, I'll and things get out. like super intense. I'll have to check it out. Yeah. So yeah. If any do- Tokyo Ghoul fans out there, that's the only one I watched, and I was obsessed, and I was like, "Yeah, I love." This I just one. got socks of it recently. I was like, "What's?" I'm very much that person. I'll watch something, and if I really like it, I'm like, "I need stuff." <laughs> so it's another one that I just got into. It's like Tokyo Ghoul was. It's it's yeah, up there. I, I bought the same. I bought pins. I bought pins of his mat. He has a, wears a specific mask. Mm-hmm. I don't know. This is, Jenny's like. <laughs> yeah, my aunt watched it years and years ago. She went to like the anime expo, dressed up as him and stuff, and she loved it. And I was like, oh, it looks cool. It looks mm-hmm. cool. And I never watched it. And our friend Dustin actually is super big on that show, so he was like, you have to watch it. And he put it on randomly one day when we were going up north, just so we had something in the car to like watch. And um, like we just kept watching after that. We're like, I got hooked. <laughs> I don't know, it was done. Nice. Now, like, we are always talking about it. We have, actually, in New World, one of the games you play, you can come up with clan names and stuff, and mm. our clan is the um, Anteku clan. Oh, okay. So we have that as our little, like, clan name. Oh. Like, yeah. It's a, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. Jenny's like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm just here to watch. I'm the audience. <laughs> I know. We were dying earlier because it's two caps, and Jenny's like, I think I'm going to be silent in this one, because yeah. we're like, I'm just here <laughs> sipping my, enjoying my drink. <laughs> yeah. I like, Kelsey, take it away. Bernie made drinks. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, there's, I, I don't know, like, I don't know where to go. Um, is there anything, like, time in high school where you were like, oh, yeah, this is totally because mine was high school too where i was starting to like like i don't know if you know like i had boyfriends right after the another because i was like "Ah, if i don't have a boyfriend right now i'm gonna have to be single and i'm gonna have to confront all this stuff right now and i don't know what the heck i'm supposed to do with this feeling as much as i hate it that was me yeah yeah same i hate it too it was like a constant thing for me in high school where it was like so beginning of high school it was like still kind of about everything and then like my sophomore year it was more so big on vest, big on everything like that. <laughs> and, like, I would do my own little minor rebellious things for, like, choir and all that stuff because I didn't like how everyone had to wear the dresses and stuff. I'd always mess around. And then my sophomore to junior year in between, I went and chopped off all my hair and I came back and I was like, ah, and everyone was just like, oh, my God, are you gay? And I was just like, no, <laughs> I'm straight. Don't say that. <laughs> like, I was so, like, no, no. I, <laughs> big in denial but yet i would still wear my like vest and everything everywhere mm. and everyone was just like are you sure mm-hmm. <laughs> come on are you sure and i was like no no i'm not <laughs> and like <laughs> and then surely enough here i am later i'm like yeah i was very wrong if you look at my <laughs> old pictures it's extremely obvious isn't it funny that though like i had the same thing where i'm like oh i totally hit it nobody totally knew <laughs> but everybody's like nah yeah, we knew <laughs> like, like my longest relationship in high school was like very on and off and they went to a different school mm-hmm. so i was just like never had to really be around i was like yeah i have a boyfriend and like everyone kind of knew who he was because he'd come around and stuff on his like lunch break and stuff we always had the off-campus lunch and stuff but went to a whole nother school and just, yeah that was that was good enough for me yeah. <laughs> i was just yeah. like i'm chilled with this yeah same th- <laughs> they were always not long distance but they were long ones because i was mm-hmm. like eh, like i mean i like you enough to hang out with you so i'll just hang out with you i suppose (laughs) and like only hang out with you because i don't really know anybody else and i'm too nervous to meet anybody else (laughs) pretty much that was that was it though i guess but yeah no i had the vest and there's pictures i don't know there's there's stuff too where i'm like mom why'd you let me wear that even though she was like really cool about whatever i wore like she didn't really like um like police whatever i wore she's like if you don't if you want to look stupid go ahead and look stupid (laughs) but i'm like oh like you couldn't have he couldn't have, like, stepped in a little bit on this. I had to wear this many ties. <laughs> like, you see, I, I was with my dad growing up. Okay. So, for him, I think it was kind of a win for him. Because most of the girls going to school with me and everything were, like, in crop tops, short shorts, all that stuff. And then there was me in vests and stuff every day. And he was just like, this is fine. All right. Who cares? And, like, he had his moments where he was like, why can't you be girlier? But then everything else was like, 
well, all right, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> so, so I think he was just okay with it because of that. Because, like, he'd meet my friends, and he's like, hmm. I'd rather you be the way you are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of one of those things, mm-hmm. that's for sure. Like, I was telling her, if you go through all of my jazz band photos and stuff, every girl in the jazz band, for the most part, was, like, in their black dresses and stuff. You had to wear all black. And then there's me in slacks and a, a button-up shirt and a vest and, like, a bow tie or a tie. And it was, had a variety. It was just, like, like, one of the things I look forward to... I would only see my mom on, like, weekends and stuff, mm-hmm. would be, she would take me thrifting, and we'd always go, and I'd, like, look for ties and stuff in the section, and I had uh, one tie in particular that was, like, black with, like, a dark bluish background, and not, like, a piano tie necessarily, but also kind of. It just had, like, really tiny designs of, like, piano and music notes and stuff, rather than just being, like, a solid piano thing. Yeah. That was, like, my favorite tie, because I played the piano and jazz band. Oh, that's so like, cool. Everywhere. That's so cool. <laughs> Thirsty. Oh, thirsty. Yeah. Why is it that we all have that same, like, I don't know if, I mean, I'm not going to say, like, every every gay person has that, but, like, we all have that, like, thing where, like, like you were saying, like, a jazz band, everybody's wearing a dress, and you're like, no, nah, I'm not going to wear a dress, because I, you, <laughs> I, I wouldn't, no, yeah, I wouldn't be caught dead in a dress either. Like, I don't think we all do, probably, yeah. but. I think my senior year, I wore dresses a little bit, mm-hmm. but that I think that was more so because uh, my significant other at the time, I was like. Yeah, they look girlier sometimes. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. And then, like, then I was just like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Back, went back to my slacks and stuff. I was like, no thanks. I, I tried it. Didn't really like it. Not a fan. <laughs> I feel like I've always been really weird when it comes to expressing myself. Like, I, I was very much that kid who was like, I don't care. I like this. It looks cool. So yeah. And so the vests everywhere. Like, people are like, why do you always wear a vest? I'm like, I like it. <laughs> and so, like, I had I had multiple vests. It was it was a problem, really. <laughs> like, 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 again, with the thrifting, we'd go and my mom would be like, oh, look, here's a vest. I was like, oh, cool. Another one. Add to my collection. <laughs> Never ending. Always wearing them. That's do true. you still wear them? <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no. We need sometimes, every- sometimes I think about it. Sometimes like, I'll see a vest somewhere and I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I kind of want to wear it. And I'm like, ugh. And I just think like of all the cringy things I did in high school. I'm like, oh, maybe not. We're going to leave that there. <laughs> that's, your, uh, that's your Aquarius Venus, uh, by the way. That uh, You don't care what anybody, if anybody else likes it, you like it. And there, it's not always like the mainstream thing. It's going to be you like it because you like it. And that's yeah. it. Uh, I can't remember. We uh-huh. were, uh, it was when I was taking him home, and we saw a kid with, like, the split pants. Like, one side was, they were, like, black and gray. Mm-hmm. One side was, like, just solid black. The other side was, like, checkered oh, cool. black and gray. And he's like, who wears stuff like that? And I'm <laughs> sitting next to him, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I had those exact same pants. Same. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm not even kidding. And he's just like, why? And I was like, because I liked them. <laughs> I thought they were cool. And I, like, I had a pair of black pants that had, like, skeletons on each leg, like, with the like little diagram things they had like mm-hmm. writing and stuff and I thought those are so cool I got so excited getting those and stuff and he's like you wore all that <laughs> yes he's, he's very are. young and, and like naive and not not conservative in like a gross way but he's like conservative and like he's just so, so naive he's so innocent he's so innocent <laughs> and he's like it's like the sweetest thing ever it's hilarious it is really funny actually but yeah he was just like where's that and I was like I literally did and he's just like what I'm sorry yeah he was like in the seat next to me like I think that's what I was thinking too right now is that that, talking about like uh, what is it that makes us kind of like switch like that like I don't know because I felt the same way like when I came out I was like oh even though like my partner like you know I would want to appeal but like the best thing is that he's like oh I just like you however you are Mm -hmm. I'm like cool like because I don't want to wear dresses and this is great that I don't want to wear makeup every day and this is great Mm -hmm. like he doesn't ever he's like oh cool yeah it was like a big one for me yeah him. it was just like he never cared yeah like i'll walk in the room and like pajamas looking like a mess and he's like oh you look pretty i'm like oh, thanks <laughs> <laughs> like i didn't want to get dressed and we'll be leaving he's like you can get ready i'm like mm, i don't feel like dressing up i'm just gonna wear this he's like you look pretty that's good and I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> i think it just goes to show it just like if you find your person that that doesn't really matter totally uh, yeah oh, almost, <laughs> oh, no. that was bad I almost spilled a drink y'all that was bad <laughs> Um, can I ask you what, uh, did you come out to him at all? Or did you, did he know already? Him? Mm-hmm. Um, who? We, we need to clarify who. Oh, oh um, who? your partner. Yeah. Um. I just didn't want to say his name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, he, I'm trying to think. I think, uh, I, I want to say he already knew. I don't remember really having, like, a specific talk with him about it. Because he was friends with my, 
sister's significant other oh, yeah. for like years oh yeah together and stuff so he already kind of knew who i was beforehand and stuff so once we actually met it was already kind of known mm -hmm. like my sister with her constant jokes <laughs> always said stuff about it so it was never like it was like we need to have a talk gotcha i know it was just like right off the bat like oh yeah she's by there oh. you go <laughs> Like, every person I meet is like, yeah, here's my sister. She's bi. And I'm like, hi, that's me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything else that you feel that's, you would want people to hear like, about your specific journey? I don't know. Your queer experience yeah. so far, mm -hmm. past two years? After my ex, I, like, my major ex before this and stuff, um, I kind of went through a phase where it was just, like, just me. And I talked... To a person at and one of my old co-workers, I had worked at Target. I talked to him for a bit, and then uh, there was two different girls at one point that I had, like, not at the same time talked to, but, like, <laughs> one after another, and both were just a disaster. I forgot this story, but now I remember the story. <laughs> <laughs> so the first girl, like, things are all right. We're talking. We're okay. We're f friends, keeping it calm and stuff. And then, like, she got pretty intense pretty quick. And, like, I went to high school with her, so I kind of knew her already and stuff. And she would, like, slowly but surely got more and more just, like, I don't want to say obsessive, but it kind of was. And, like, one day she was like, I'm in love with you and stuff like that. Like, I have been for years. And I was just like, oh, we never really talked before and we're just kind of friends right now. And she, like, was very persistent with it. So she kind of turned out to be a little bit, a little bit much for me, a little crazy for me. A little me. strong. <laughs> a little, yeah, a little strong for me. So I was like, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. No, thank you. <laughs> like, this is... This has moved very fast, very quickly, and now I'm just like, no, thank you. And then um, the next girl that I talked to, uh, I've, same thing, known her since, like, high school, was a bit much, but um, I just never really saw anything going anywhere with that, just because I knew how she was. It was, like, every other week, every other day, she'd be sending me, like, some new person, like, oh, I'm going out with this person, I'm going out with this person, I'm like, you do you, dude, as long as you're happy. And then she got very persistent, like, oh, I want to go on a date with you, let's go out. And I was just like, no, like, I don't want to, I don't want to go down that road. I don't, I don't want things to get weird, like, we're friends, just leave it at that. And <laughs> she was pretty persistent, so I was just like, whatever, like, just let her do her thing, we're chill. On one day when I was at work and everything, like, I got a message from her on Snapchat, and I was like, whatever, you know, it's fine. I'm, like, in the back, pulling orders and stuff, and I, like, opened my phone, and it was just, like, full-on nude pic of her, pretty much, and I was just like, oh, uh, like, in the back of people around, so I was, like, trying to put my phone away, like, oh, God, <laughs> like, <laughs> no context anything like we hadn't talked all morning and then she's just like i don't know where first message she sent me of the day was just that and i was just like oh how do i respond to this <laughs> and like I, I i had no clue how to respond and i didn't want to be an ass so i was just like nice nipple piercings <laughs> I, I, I panicked i panicked and i said that and uh, apparently she wasn't the fondest of that response because <laughs> she she didn't respond to me for the rest of the day she like took a few days off from talking to me and uh, for some reason, the guys out, like, burning well, and they're guys. some of our friends, yeah, them being guys, yeah. they, like, they will not let me live that story down. So, like, <laughs> um, a while back, we were all talking about how, like, I wanted nipple piercings at one point and stuff, but I'm not too sure about it now. And I was, like, you know, chicken about it. And their responses are just like, yeah, nice nipple piercings, constantly. Like, it'll <laughs> randomly come up, and, like, one or two of the guys will come up to me and just, like, nudge me, just like, yeah, nice nipple piercings on. <laughs> nice piercings on. I'm like... <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't. It will never die. <laughs> when you told me that story, we had a full-on conversation with like I think two of the other girls there about like nipple piercings, and we're all talking about how they. <laughs> I um, think that's how the story came up. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, they hurt. Don't do it. Like, it freaking hurts. <laughs> you said that? Oh yeah. So, oh, I oh. Did, this so is all new to me. I mean, TMI, Jenny. I've had my nipples pierced before. They what are not the any. <laughs> How did I not know this? And, and listeners, everybody gets to know. Not anymore, but they are. I had them at one point, yes. <laughs> Two other girls at work, same thing. Yeah. I don't think they have them anymore, but they had them done. So they were like, <laughs> when I was saying that I had wanted some and stuff, there was like one of the flash sale things going on. You know how like every Friday the 13th or like certain holidays and stuff, they do sales. Uh, one of the girls was like, my piercer's doing a sale. You can get both of your nipples pierced. And like, because uh, <laughs> she, she knew that I had thought about it. And, like, all of them were just constantly telling me, like, do it, do it, do it. And then Kelsey was like, don't do it. They hurt. It's it not hurts. worth it. And I was just like, <laughs> like, I'm scared. There's so many things to think about, like, the healing process and stuff. And they were just like, no, do it. And then, like, one of the guys was just like, oh, do they know the story? So I, like, brought it up <laughs> through the story. <laughs> I think that's just, how we started talking yeah, about, that that's was, how we started talking, I was like, oh, so wait, I forgot, let's talk about this, because <laughs> yeah, I was like, like why are you getting boob pictures? 
<laughs> yeah, no, they hurt everybody. Don't do it. But we were talking about it like, oh, yeah, because I had mine, oh, I think we were like 18 or 19. I took Bernie to get his ears pierced for his birthday. And I was like, I'm going to get my nipples pierced while we're here just <laughs> for shits and giggles, apparently. My birthday's coming up, too. Let's do it. I got them done. And it hurt. But, like, the clamp that holds you hurts so much more than the actual piercing. So when they, they clamp and then they pierce, they take the clamp off after that. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, you don't even feel the piercing anymore because the clamp hurts so fucking bad. <laughs> but, like, three months later, because they take a long time to heal. Like, six months now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three months later, I had to get my appendix out. And my mom actually took me to get my appendix out. And... <laughs> I was getting an x-ray and she knew about my belly button because she took me to go get it. So they were like, oh, we need you to take out. I got the x-ray done. They were like, we need you to take out all your metal. And I'm like, I did. And they're like, all your metal. And I'm like, oh, shit. And my mom's like, what? Like, what are you like? What metal? And I was like, well, <laughs> I did a thing. <laughs> and I was in the, the hospital for like recovering for like two days or whatever. And they closed up in that time. And everybody's like, just shove them back through. I'm like, ah, mm. no way. That sounds <laughs> awful. Oh, no. It was bad. And you don't realize how much you like touch your basically your, when like you're moving your arms, how much you touch your nipples. Yeah. So like every single time you're like, ow. Ow, you can't lift anything for a while. And like loofahs are terrifying. Oh my God. <laughs> like, you have to wear like a shirt, like, cause you know, like some people don't wear a bra when they go to bed. Like, you have to make sure you have like a tight shirt on so like they don't get caught on anything. Ugh. Oh, it was a lot. And, I, and he's like, oh, my ears hurt. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, they don't. They're fine. <laughs> you said loofah and <laughs> but loofahs are terrifying for new piercings especially when they have like a whole like they could get caught obviously yeah. so but yeah i don't know <laughs> um going back to um your your two experiences uh with women especially the first one so you were saying that she came came on too strong so having dated men and then having dated a woman I'm assuming she was a woman, right? Yes. Yeah. Because, um, you know, you could be non-binary or what, whatnot. Yes. But um, uh, do you, did you feel maybe, do you feel like you got scared because you were so used to dating men? And usually with men, like, things move so slow in comparison. Like, I could speak as a lesbian, like, myself. Things with women, like, do go really fast. So, like, it could be an adjustment. <laughs> maybe, maybe not, not by me part of it. Yeah. But, like, it just kind of, it caught me off guard because it, was, it wasn't even, like, I want to say it was, like, less than a month that we had, yeah. like, talking. And she was just, like, out of nowhere, like, I've been in love with you for years and stuff. And I was just, like, um, that sounds, you that know sounds... nothing about me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you you were an acquaintance, if that, in high school. Like, you literally She's don't been know waiting me. for you to come out. <laughs> She's, like, you literally don't know me at all. Like, you don't, you don't know my family. You don't know anything about me. And you're yeah. just, like, I love you. And I'm, like, oh, ma'am. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 no. As someone in sapphic relationships, I'm like, that's very natural and very normal <laughs> in a sapphic it relationship. Just, like, it just caught me so off guard. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm like, you know, most people, like, take the time and they get to know you and stuff. Yeah. She was just like, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was like, we we maybe hung out, like, once, I think we got coffee. And oh, wow. Everything else was just, like, talking on the phone. Mm. That was it. So it was, like, okay. she really did not yeah. know me. And she was just like... It came out Our toxic. It's just like so right off the bat, just like yeah. all in. I was just, I yeah. Know. It was a little toxic. I'm I kind of scared right now. Are you going to like show up at my house? Like, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> like she was, she got very intense, very oh, fast. Okay. I was like, okay, this is not okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> okay. That's funny. That, I, that, I know like the stereotype has moved fast, but I didn't know if it was actually like in, I, mean, I mean, from my experience. For real. <laughs> yeah, from my experience. Like, I've seen little things about that, but I I was just so caught off guard. Yeah. <laughs> I was not prepared. Yeah. For for my experience, yeah. Like, I mean, I've only been in two sapphic relationships, and but they both, even though, like, the one I'm in right now, like, it moved slower than the first one. The first one was, like, so speedy. Like, mm -hmm. very, very, very speedy. Um, but the, the second one, like, it, there there was, like, more of a emotional foundation base with the relationship i'm in now um but it did i think like if i compare it to all of my hetero relationships mm -hmm. yeah they're way faster mm -hmm. when, when you're <laughs> with a girl like it just the emotional um interchange is so much like there's there's like less 
from my experience at least like there was less bullshit there was less like oh like let me figure like it, it was more of like this is what i want oh this is what you want okay cool um like that's why it moves faster because you're very clear from the get-go <laughs> there's no there's no beating like, around the yeah, bush yeah no i'm sure there's games in some relationships but yeah. there's usually no games and no beating around the bush basically yeah i mean so, yeah <laughs> and as a figure of speech yeah <laughs> But I'm like, but, but that's just me. That's just yeah. because I'm gay. So, like, <laughs> it, it's just easier, yeah. like, for me, at least, you know? Like, yeah. it, being in those relationships as to, like, men. <laughs> gotcha. For me. <laughs> I'm I just see. speaking for me because I'm the only lesbian in the world. Yeah. In, the, in the room. Yeah. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. You, do you need a vape break? No. No. <laughs> I'm teasing because oh. you both have your vapes out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, the the vapes. I don't know. I don't know anything about them. <laughs> it's not my thing. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We were both vaping. <laughs> both vaping. I'm like, huh? With your with your Sagittarius Mercury, just like Bernie's, it's like a, a, a you start a story with a story. <laughs> I am all over the place always. <laughs> like, and I'll forget. I think because talking about something, and then I'm like, oh wait, no, I was telling you this. Yeah. Like, I do it to Michael all the time. Yeah, like, babe. You done? You good? <laughs> Remember, we were talking about this, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, and then I'll, like, restart somewhere else. And he's like, what? <laughs> the cap doesn't help, because caps talk a lot also, too. <laughs> I saw this thing, too, like, ta- talking about, like, um, when you meet a cap, you'll think they talk too much, but when they stop talking, you'll be afraid. Mm-hmm. And I was like, ooh. One of oof. my favorite things to this day is uh, when I first started there at uh, our job, mm-hmm. um, Bernie and, like, everyone that didn't really know me, I had two friends that I had already knew, which is the two who got me the job, and I was, like, talking to them all day and stuff, mm-hmm. and then the next day, it was just me. Neither of them worked, so I was just, like, silent as ever, <laughs> and then, cause the day before, they're like, wow, she really talks a lot, and then, like, the next day, I was just silent, so he was like, um, you good? <laughs> yeah, fine, just don't know you people. <laughs> I don't talk to you, I'm the only, time, the only time you're silent is, like, when you're upset or when mm-hmm. you're working. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, that's a, I, I kind of vented to a, two of the people there yesterday, and I think they were, like, surprised at how much I was talking, because I don't really ever talk, I just have both headphones in, and I just kind of do my thing, and I'm, like, and I was telling them, because I was explaining to one of them, too, I was, like, it's not that I don't want to talk, it's that, like, I, it's too much stimulation for me, like, there's so many loud noises, there's so many people talking, there's so many energies that, like, I just, it is a lot it's a lot, it's a lot, and you're trying to focus, you're also trying not to get hurt at the same time. And it's just like I have to have both headphones in because I, I cannot process everything that's going on here. Yeah. There are days where I'm like everything in me just wants to wear both headphones because mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with people. But then ninety percent of the time, like our friends and stuff, yeah. they, I talk to them a lot more. Um, I've known them for quite a while, so they get pretty comfortable. And so I feel bad. So I'll take up like I always I only wear one headphone because mm-hmm. I always feel bad because they talk to me a lot. And then I already have hearing problems out of my left ear. So if I wear my right AirPod, which is normally what I do, right side dominant and stuff, I always feel guilty because I'll have to be like, huh? Huh? What? And then I, like, take it out and I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Yeah. They, like, repeated themselves, like, three times already. I'm like, my bad. Yeah. This is, it's... So I just, I either don't wear them at all or I only wear one because I'm like, sorry, I can't yeah. hear. I actually don't really think I mentioned it, but um, part of my whole bi experience and stuff, I think a big part of me not coming out for so long was actually because of my relationship with my dad for the longest time. Uh, I had briefly told Kelsey a while back um, one big memory for me that really stuck with me, which was also part of why I was just like, nope, no, I'm straight. Like, all of high school was, uh, I remember my mom was not as caring about it back then and stuff, and I was very tomboyish, and there was an Axe body spray. It was a guy's one before they came out with the girls and stuff. Uh, It was like a citrus one, and I was like, oh, it smells really good. I want it. So she got it for me, and I, like, brought it home, and my dad saw it, and he was like, why do you have a guy's co- or body spray thing? And I was just like, because it smells good, it's fruity, like, smell it. And he was just like, it's for guys, it's not for girls. And he, like, lost it. It started this huge fight between my parents, because obviously I lived with my dad, and so he called my mom and, like, unloaded on her about, you're trying to make her a lesbian, and she already dresses like a boy and all this stuff. So I think that was a big thing for me then, when I was just like, oh, no, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sorry for liking the body spray. It's <laughs> like so he like took it away. It's like you can't have that and stuff. And it was, I remember a little later on, my mom had that like rebellious moment where she was just like, "Oh look, they came out with the girls' lines." So she got me that, and my dad was like pretty bitter about that. But it like really stuck with me for the longest time, which is like just that comment where he's like, "You're trying to make her a lesbian." Her response to that was, like, "Oh well, at least you won't be a grandparent anytime soon." <laughs> and like me and my dad not having a great relationship then, 
started a lot of problems too so it was always like really problematic I, don't know, I think that was like a big thing for me which yeah. I was just like so yeah. in denial when everyone whenever anyone would make a little comment like mm-hmm. be sure you're not gay I was like no nope shut your mouth yeah. <laughs> like yeah. don't say those things I think, yeah. I think I had similar stuff too like I knew like my dad was like not understanding of why I liked quote unquote boyish things more than anything because like I played sports and like like ice skating was like the quote unquote girliest thing I did as a kid and even then I cut my hair so I didn't have to put it up like in a bun because I did not want to put it in a bun because I didn't like it so like I don't know I think like I don't know if it's their generation or something but and like he didn't want me to play outside because I would get bruises and boys have bruises girls don't have bruises and it was like okay like this doesn't make any sense really it was kind of mixed for me because I was so I'm the first born grandchild mm-hmm. first born child like I'm the, I'm the oldest the all around oldest <laughs> And then, like, everyone who came after me until my sister, on my dad's side at least, was boys. Mm. Like, most of my cousins are boys. So, to me, it was always hanging out with boys. And then my mom was a tomboy growing up. So, it's just like, it's fine. So, yeah. my family didn't question it too, too much. I think it was more so when I hit high school and they're like, oh, she's still very big on, like, being boyish. Yeah. Like, as kids, it was like, oh, it's understandable. She's hanging out with all the boy kids and stuff. And then I got older and he was just like, stop being so much like a boy. And mm. Then it just kind of was like, yeah, surprise, yeah. <laughs> here I am later. Yeah. It all makes sense. It's frustrating because it's like that's even that like the binary we talk about too. Because it's like, why can't I just, why can't I just be? Why can't I just like these <laughs> I like things? What I like and alone. it's we're influenced by our environment. So like same thing. I had brothers. I only had brothers, and I didn't really have any cousins my age. So like. That's all I knew how to do. And my mom is kind of tomboyish also. My mom doesn't wear makeup. My mom doesn't... My mom wears jeans and t-shirt, like, all the time. Yeah, and if you look at pictures of my mom when she was younger, it was just baggy clothes, basketball shorts. She mm -hmm. did sports. She was tomboyish as heck. Yeah, so I'm like, where am I supposed to learn to be super girly if nobody in my family is super girly? Right? And then especially (laughs) being, like, nothing but boys, firstborn and stuff. It's not like I really had anyone around. Like, I had my aunts and stuff, but they were all older, like... Yeah. yeah. Doing their own thing. Same. They didn't care about, like, I had my kid. I had my mo- aunt, the aunt who I interact with most, and she's gay. <laughs> so it's <was> like, <laughs> okay, like, that's, you know, it's our environment, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But I, I think know. our parents' generation, like, heteronormativity and, like, binary um, was such a huge part of society. Even now it still is, but, like, I feel like a lot, I grew up with hearing, like, that's for girls, that's for boys. Mm-hmm. And I definitely heard that a lot. Yeah. Again. Yeah. whatever part of me was just i don't care yeah. yeah i like what i like and i think also being like the older the older one we always take like the the shit end of the stick <laughs> um and they're always like harder on us oh for sure yeah like i constantly bring that up i'm like yeah. look they get away with everything and they're just like it's fine i'm yeah. alone I'm like, what the heck I would have I would have been dead. <laughs> like, I would have been beaten. Like, come on. And they're just like, no, it's fine. Just leave them alone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're gonna fight. <laughs> like me and my siblings always had problems over that. Like my uh, my si- my younger sister on my dad's side. All of my siblings are half siblings, so they're all same. Place. So like on my dad's side, she had a different mom, so she was the only one over there, and she was like super spoiled and stuff. Got away with a lot. Like she got in trouble a lot because she was like a troublesome kid. Not not troublesome, but she was a nuisance. Yeah. So, like, she, she was a brat, for sure. But she was always very girly, got away with, like, so much more than I ever would have. And I was like, what the heck is this? And the same on my mom's side. My little brother is the baby. She wanted a boy. Got me and my sister first. <laughs> like, we had boy names. She picked out boy names for us. <laughs> she wanted a boy. And then my brother, funny enough, was a birth control mix-up, and she got her boy. Oh, wow. And so he is, he is the baby. Mm-hmm. That kid could get away with anything. <laughs> like, it is ridiculous. Like, me and my sister, like, I have those moments where my sister will get away with things, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. And then my brother comes in, and I'm like, you know what? I'm done. I've had enough. <laughs> and then they, like, his his dad and stuff will always tease me, like, come on, that's what you're for. You're the oldest. You're the big sister. Put him in place. And I'm like, why do I got to do it? It's your kid. <laughs> you, you guys did it to me and her, but not him. He gets spoiled. Yeah. And he's like the only grandson or grandchild in general on that side of his dad's and stuff. And so he's yeah gets away with the world. I'm he's a king. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this matters or not. He's a Leo. Mm. Oh, oh, he's, even more so. Oh, even more so. <laughs> oh, he's a king and stuff. And I started thinking about it. I was like, Jenny's oh. brother's a ki- uh, Leo too. <laughs> and he's the baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My partner is actually a Leo. Yeah. And we've talked about him a little bit with Bernie and stuff. And like spot on 
<laughs> with his astrology stuff, and it's always hilarious. He's a Leo sun, Aries moon. It's almost oh, like yes. it's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Leo sun, Aries moon. I yes. know. It's funny because I've seen them like when they interact sometimes, I can see the Aries moon come out and they're both like, me, 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 like back and forth. <laughs> it definitely happens. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah. coming on. Of course. Um, a we really appreciate you coming on and sharing your story. And um, I guess we'll do the social. Sure. Please uh, like and follow and leave us comments if you want on our Instagram. It's one thing queer. And my personal one is Specs Ray X. And my personal one is at Jenny Lynn Bouton. And if you would like to come on the show or share your story, please email us at onethingqueer at gmail.com. And Maya, would you like to share your social media? Maya Dell 98. Okay, great. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, so if you want to follow Maya, um, thank you again for coming on. Of course. Thanks I appreciate it. Me. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm going to tell everybody at work <laughs> that you have to listen to Maya's episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'll enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah, I guess we will see you next time. Yes, yeah. we'll see you all next week. Cool. All right. Bye. 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 Music by Jacody Lamone. Produced by Kelsey Wren and Jenny Baton. Edited by Jenny Baton. <laughs>